the name of the series uh, is just Sky Burial. It's um, the images are of a Tibetan sky burial. Um, the uh, based on a group of uh, photographs that were um, taken by a client of mine, a man named Mr. Young. And uh, I met Mr. Young through um, another client, and um, he commissioned me to do uh, a few paintings for him. And um, while I was making the paintings for him, he, um, he asked if he could come to my studio. Um, and I agreed. And so he came and, and hung out with me in my studio while I produced work for him. Um, but after his work was finished, he asked if he could continue to hang out and spend time while I was making other work. Um, and, uh, and we ended up spending, we ended up spending, uh, well, he ended up spending a few months um, just just spending time in the studio. And um, Mr. Yang has very l limited English, um, and I don't speak Cantonese um, or Mandarin, so we had a, kind of a hard time communicating with one another. But we ended up spending just a lot of time kind of hanging out. Um, and uh, he would just sort of um, be present while I was making art. And um, he came to me one day with um, a group of photographs um, of a, a, a trip that he had, that he had been on to Tibet that he had mentioned before, and but I didn't really understand what he was saying. Um, and then he, he presented these these images, and. Um, you know, my first impression of what I was seeing was quite shocking, and um, like the, I, I found them really powerful. And I, I asked him if he would be comfortable if if I were to use them for a body of work, and he agreed. Um, and then I spent uh, some time trying to figure out exactly how I was going to use them. I'd done a lot of like um, collage before and uh, my work you know um, prior to this was um, uh, a lot of sort of found found materials um, you know uh, distressed paper from like billboards and, and signage uh, wood from signage um, found materials this kind of thing and there would be collage together but with this one I, I, I wanted to use a very sort of very clean um, you know uh, look to the work uh, sort of stark um, and uh, and have nice quality um, uh, photos produced and so I was working with photo paper and uh, collaging with photo paper and it was you know doing a lot of experimenting because I hadn't I hadn't used that um, but you know, going with the same, the same kind of things that I've done before, using using collage with um, with paint and and then finished with resin. Um, so it was just a sort of a slight variation of work that I'd done in the past. You know, it just seemed like um, uh, a kind of evolution of, of of some of the work that I was doing in the past, and and um, yeah.
what's actually taking place is is what is referred to as a Tibetan sky burial, and um, what uh, they're doing is they're um, they're basically dismembering one um, one of their dead, and um, and what they do is it, it's very really high up, and they don't bury their dead. They um, they dismember. They're, they're breaking down, you know, um, the body, and and the vultures they come in and they just clean up the body. They just, you know, um, basically break down the body further. And the belief is is that um, this aids in uh, the process of reincarnation. The 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 vultures themselves um, are 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 carrying. Um, the deceased to, you know, the next place, and um, and the body itself, I, you know, my understanding is the body is is is, is more of a, like a husk that is sort of no longer um, important really because their their essence or you know their, is is being is is moving along and and, and um, being reincarnated. So, um, I mean, I, I, I find that really beautiful. I find um, the, rela the, the, the people's relationship with the, the, the earth around them, you know, with, uh, I have the utmost respect for. Um, I think that it's relevant right now because of a lot of uh, talk, you know, globally, but, you know, it, 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 it's almost become a bit of a... Um, you know, like a, 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 something you sell a product with, basically. You know, sustainability, eco-friendly. Like, I mean, these concepts are are obviously very important, but I, I think that we have a very strange relationship with what that actually means. And, um, uh, you know, I have clients that ask if, uh, you know, the paint that I'm using is eco-friendly. Um, and they're driving SUVs, you know, this, this kind of thing. Um, so I just think that showing images or working with images of this, of this, um, you know, ritual of this, uh, practice is important maybe even more important for a Western audience to see, you know, this is what eco-friendly looks like, you know, and it's, uh, and if it, sh if it's shocking, well then that, to me, because it shocked me, and f for me that represented how far away from, um, a good relationship with the earth I was. You know, um, so I guess that's kind of what I'm playing with is like if the images are, are, are disturbing or they seem sinister or dark and, 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 and they, they, they kind of disturb or shock the viewer then um, it might be good to consider um, if it's more shocking to embalm the dead and bury them in metal caskets in the earth you know because uh, you know, I don't, I don't know which is more shocking, you know, um, with what's happening right now. Um, yeah, and you know, even just the image of the of, of vultures, you know, and our relationship with an animal like a vulture. I mean, even that we describe, um, you know, other. We describe people as vultures, you know, and it has really negative, um, really, yeah, it's just, a, it's, a, it's a negative thing, you know, and it's considered a, a sort of a sinister creature. And um, in this culture, they're more like the concept of an angel, you know. That I find really, really amazing, you know. Um, yeah, and so it's 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 all sorts of ideas like this that I guess is is so the point, or you know what 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 inspired me to um, make this work now, you know. Um, I, I 
I find the images to be really powerful, but I think that they uh, they can. I think that one can kind of move into the the image and and um, come to different ideas about what you know what, what they're viewing um, and. I like using images um, to start with when I'm creating art that I, I would consider um, being the kind of image that will create and inspire thought and ideas. So I had some ideas and, and definitely some, some emotions about what it, what it was that I'm, what it was I, I was trying to do and why. But to me, you know, my own ideas about are sort of less important to what um, someone who's looking at the work might come to, or what they, the, whether or not the image is going to inspire any, you know, ideas or feelings um, in them. And I believe that these would, and and that's why I. Uh, that's why I worked with them. That's why I made the work. Yeah. Thanks.